All right, so XCAD is a lot up in the past 24 hours and I do wanna go and explain why in case you don't know and you don't know about XCAD and why it is defying the market with over double digit upward strength while Bitcoin, as we're able to see from my back, is going on a downward spiral. We got the Bitcoin chart behind us in case anything happens, but we are looking at $19,600 for what Bitcoin is at time of recording this video, 19,573 is going down. So let's get straight onto the video and keep an eye on the price. Now we jump onto the laptop, which we are over here right now. And we're seeing that XCAD is at $2.32 with a 10% upwards or in the past, as we're able to go and see here, we look at the seven days, we see that we were hovering at the $1.75, $2 chart to then go all the way up as we've done yesterday with a big, big pump up on the last couple of days. Now, we look at what Bitcoin is doing over here. We're seeing it that is at 19,679, 19,637. We got different charts in the back at 568, depending on the uh, exchange that we're looking at right now. But Bitcoin and the whole crypto market, it is going down and it's going down hard as well as Ethereum is following and all the other cryptos are following down. But why is XCAD having this massive rally upwards from the 176 all the way to the $2 to the upwards of seven days high of $2.64? Well, I'm gonna go and talk about it right now. I've got some exciting, exciting news. And if you do not know XCAD, XCAD is a token is going to be a plugin as well as a mobile built-in as a mobile app sorry that will allow you to tokenize content creators so you watch my video you'll be able to earn my token and my token will go up or down depending on how my webs uh, how my channel is doing if i do good performance on the channel if i reach x amount of milestones such as subscribers or as views and so on my token goes up you're able to buy and sell my token you're able to invest in a youtuber make money trade the youtubers coin for other youtubers and so on but why is it going up well we uh, go and look at the twitter news and we saw that just three hours ago they have launched a new uh, pancake swap liquidity pool which by the way for the next 30 days 28 days now for the next 28 days for uh, the month of November and the beginning of December, potentially even more, they will be releasing one announcement per day on some crazy, crazy information and a lot of speculation, which I will take you in for tomorrow's video. But if you are an XCAD supporter and if you are an XCAD you know, fan, let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. Subscribe, like, let's get to 5,000 subscribers with the XCAD army. Then we just saw that they announced a proposal for an XCAD cake LP farm on PancakeSwap and it would make it the only active cake pair beside BNB and Stablecoin, which is incredible because PancakeSwap is gonna give a nice exposure to over 1.2 million cake holders, which are able to go and then stake in a liquidity pool, their XCAD as well as their cake to earn either token, which was put to the vote. So you'll be able to go and vote over here on PancakeSwap.finance as we're able to go and see. And the proposal, it says that 37, 37 million votes, 618,702 votes said yes, with only 1.83% saying no. So people will be able, and also you will be able, so make sure to go and follow them over on Twitter, check out everything that you need to know. And for this proposal, you'll be able to go and stake your XCAD and your cake token to go and earn XCAT token from this liquidity pool and not cake token or any other. So incredible support from the community. You're able to see how many people are already behind it. And this is one of the reasons why we see the nice price pump that we've seen in the couple past days. Now, remember that XCAT is only ranked 280th in the world as a token in terms of market cap. I believe this is with a market cap of $78 million only. Now, $78 million for a token that is going to be, you know, thrown out to the masses by a lot of YouTubers. And we're seeing this price, not because they launched their campaign. They didn't launch their, you know, uh, ex exponential growth campaign with a YouTuber announcing their token to their fund and then can go and invest or just watch the content creators and earn their token as a reward to then go and buy NFTs or go and be able to have a chat with them, uh, you know, Zoom call, FaceTime call, whatever it could be as a reward as a token holders. Now, 
This is only by the announcement, the seven days that we're seeing here, this pump up, nothing has happened of that. We only saw the pancake swap announcement, which is huge, as well as the Bitfinex listing exchange. Now, they're going to be listed on Bitfinex, and as of right now, if you do not know uh, XCAD, you're able to go and buy it over on Qcoin, which at time, okay, now it's going just a couple of minutes ago, we have experienced a little bit of a downtime on what Qcoin was happening, but you're able to go and buy XCAD from Qcoin. If you are not a Qcoin user, please use my affiliate link down below. It is completely free for you. You get a five pound voucher when you sign up with my code and I do get a little bit of something out of it. I think it's a five pound voucher as well to go and use for leverage trading or any other. So if you do want to go and buy, uh, you know, XCAD now and you do not have uh, Qcoin, go and do it with the link in the description. Thank you very much. But with that said, now it is not loading, but you were able to go and see here. Okay, now it's loading. Bitcoin is at 19,570, while XCAT is at $2.33, and we keep on rising. This price pump that we're able to go and see over here just happened because of these two things. Bitfinex Exchange uh, decided to go and list XCAT, which is a tier one exchange, kicked off the campaign, as well as we're able to go and see here, the announcement before this was the growth campaign starting. So this skyrocketed on the 7th, as we're able to go and see here. We got the 5th of November. Nothing happened within the 5th of November. Just some technical analysis happened over there. Oh no, on the 5th of November, they did release this. So this was the first announcement of the growth campaign starting with a QR code, a little bit of hype in the community. We've seen a spike. 6, 7 is when we started the campaign from $2 with one announcement of a tier one exchange such as Bitfinex and there's so many other because there's only on, I believe XCAD is on Qcoin as well as a Sendex as an exchange. Now Bitfinex, we've seen the price going up. Now it's consolidating a little bit between the $2.20, $2.40 kind of range, but it's still, still good. This is just from announcement. Nobody promoted the token. Nobody ever said anything about the token on YouTube apart from me and other supporter of the token online. But this is very, very interesting to see. We see here that Bitcoin, it is completely going, yes, sideways with a little bit of an uptrend then breaking down. And again, potentially we could see a little bit of an uptrend breaking down, going back to that 22,000, which would be great in my opinion to reach a 22, 25,000 line that we saw here and then we just went down. But as of right now, Bitcoin is going down, XCAD is going up. There's no denial on that. And it is very, very interesting to see how just a couple of announcements are able to go and make such an impact. Now, regarding the pancake swap, you'll be able to go and stake both token pair. It's a liquidity pool, so you need to stake the exact amount of XCAD as well as the uh, you know exact amount of cake token there's gonna be a max of 100 token i do believe 100 k for the first 57 600 blocks for the zero pool is launched so this is going to be the limit but then go and follow them over on twitter because they will release an announcement a day as they said which is very very interesting to see but as we're able to go and look at these charts we got a market cap of 78 million only fully diluted market cap of half a billion this is the fully diluted market cap which means if the max supply was in circulation which is not then we got the volume of nine million dollars in the last 24 hours going up of 147 percent there is a circulation supply maxed out at 100 million and only sorry 200 million as we're able to go and see here 200 million tokens for the circulation supply and that's about it so you know jump in uh, i'm no financial advisor no no you know, magician, I'm no predicting the future. This is not my job, I'm not an expert. I'm just a supporter of this token. I do like it, I'm not endorsed by them. I'm not paid by them, I'm, I'm an early supporter. I can say that I did invest in this token fairly early, which I'm super happy about it because it is revealing very, very good and the hype behind it, the way that they're dealing stuff. You know, compared on a bear market to be able to make your token go up during a bear market is something really, really incredible. And we will see more upwards trend movement, in my opinion, towards the $5 between now and the end of the month with all the announcement being released. But that is only and simply my opinion. Do not take it for a service. Do not take it for anything else. But if you are also here and you made it till the end, thank you very much. Why is the market crashing? Well, 
market is crashing because of this token FTX, the one of the largest exchanges in the world, having some drama and the token price as we're able to go and see here, investor just said, you know what, we're tired of it. It's been going sideways like any other things, going a little bit upwards and then it just took a turn for the worse. And we are seeing the same like it happened with the Luna Classic community. Uh, and the Luna token destroying the whole market. This is not attached to a stable coin, but it is one of the largest investors exchanges out there. And this is taking sinking the price of the crypto market down. We are below, I believe, the one trillion dollar for the market cap of the cryptos. Yes. And Bitcoin is hovering there between nine. Now it's going below 20,000 all the way potentially to 19,000. But we will see how that goes. In the meantime, XCAD is going extremely well, extremely up. So I'm super happy. I'm super proud to be an investor in the stock. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This is XCAD and it's going up while Bitcoin is going down. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Ciao, guys.